the hell was that? Well? We've got the map. How many? At least half a dozen. We don't need them all. We should assume some amount of decay. I can't imagine they'll all still be functioning. At least two appear to reside on land masses that no longer exist. We'll dispatch teams to each site and determine viability. We only need one, after all. What about the rest? Collect them. Let's not leave anything to chance. Last thing we need is some damn survivor making trouble for us in the new world. And the assassin? We have what we need. Kill him. Wait. You know how these things work. I doubt we'll be able to walk right in. What's your point? We might need him. His memories. I'd recommend we hold him until we have confirmation that there aren't any surprises waiting for us at the sites. This is a waste of time. You said it yourself. We shouldn't leave anything to chance. Very well. Ensure we have no further need of him, then kill him. Fine. Stop undermining my authority! I just saved your ass. Let's go. We've got a lot of work to do. Don't get too comfortable, Mr. Miles. We'll be back for you soon enough. What the hell is that? It's all around the place. Can I log into the computers? Nope, I can't. It appears I just need to go to bed. But dude, they're all around the place. Oh my god. Looks like... Is that blood? the hell were they keeping here before me? And what happened to him? What does it mean, I wonder? Well, alright guys, yeah, that was e uh, Assassin's Creed 1. I know it kind of ended off on a cliffhanger there, but that's... Uh, that's not that bad, because... There's a second game right after this that I'm going to make a walkthrough for as well. In fact, there's a bunch more of Assassin's Creed's as well that I'm going to play. So this is just not even the tip of the iceberg. In fact, I'm quite excited to play the next game. I love Assassin's Creed 2. Uh, I love Assassin's Creed 1, don't get me wrong, but Assassin's Creed 2 is where I fell in love with the series. So, yeah, I'm excited that this Assassin's Creed 1 is finally done with and I can move on to Assassin's Creed 2. If... If you like this walkthrough, if you just decide to watch it for like nostalgic reasons, good on ya. Thank you for watching these videos. I decided to make this in my spare time because, you know, I love this game. And I love all the Assassin's Creed games in general. So, if you took the time to watch what I could provide for you to entertain yourself, then, you know, I'm, I'm kind of happy that I could do that. But I just wanted to say one final thanks while these ending credits, um roll out um thank you for watching and be sure to maybe like subscribe or just come back and check for some new content i'll be posting more of these walkthroughs and probably even some like other walkthroughs as well if i have time but thank i just want to say thanks again for watching and you guys have a great day
Wait, wait, hold on. There is something new. There is something new. And Warren's. <clears throat> I might have missed this the first time. If I didn't, then we're going to read it now. Talks continue regarding aftermath of L11 outbreak. Nearly six years later, little progress has been made in dealing with the per repercussions of what history books now refer to as the Second Plague. With nearly 96 of its population decimated over a three-month period, the continent of Africa is now virtually uninhabited. Plans to divide up the continent have met with a strong resistance and claims of neo-colonialism. One poster has this, had this to say, Whether we are 100 or 100 million, this is still our home and no one has the right to take it from us. Huh. Well, I must have missed that. And I totally forgot that, uh, it doesn't, like, it just drops you right back in after the credits are done, so. Oh, look. There's even more here. From Lucy Stillman to about subject number 16, September 8th, 313. Warren, I finished my report on subject 16. Should have take a look when you have this some la you should have take you should take a look when you have some time as I believe it validates my belief that we need to be treating them with greater care. Better to do so will only result in further breakdowns. I'll summarize things for now since I'll realize you're probably get pretty busy. Prolonged exposure to the animus caused a bleeding effect within subject 16's genetic structure. The result was a blending of genetic and real-time memory. He became unable to distinguish his own life from those of his ancestors, as witnessed with the incident in his room. I believe this effect is very similar to certain forms of multiple personality and delusional disorders. People who claim to be experiencing past lives or the present of other minds within their own are quite possibly experiencing a natural occurring version of the, this bleeding effect. Do the specific system, symptoms may vary from subject to subject. The end result is the same. They may lose their minds. This is why I believe happened to Subject 16. One of his ancestors seems to have been involved in an important event in the ancient Far East. The wall writings he left us defy any conventional explanation, though I'm not ready to dismiss them just yet. Per your request, I've asked for a linguist and historian to research them further in the case there is some significance. I'll let, let you know if they come back to us with anything. I'll get you a full copy of the report so that you can review my findings when you have the time. I know this is not the impo not that important to you, Warren, but it would mean a lot to me if you just take a look and think about it. We don't need to push them so hard. We don't need to kill them. From a purely practical perspective, there's no point in destroying the subjects anyway. Once they're dead, their knowledge is lost to us forever, and we both know how dangerous that can be. Thanks for your time, Dash Lucy. Oh, man, well, I'm kind of glad that I checked these before just exiting the game for final time. And I know all that talk... Um, all that talk of me saying like ah, catch you guys later and everything as the credits start is going to be kind of worthless now because I'm going to include this <laughs> until the end. But I'm glad I kind of checked this. I always I couldn't remember if they added stuff in at the end for you to read, and I think that's why it's because they're talking about Subject 16, who is the ex the person who left behind these markings apparently, and then decided to put that in there as soon as you see them to just pretty much tell you and let you know what who they're talking about specifically and like just to refer to that so I'm glad they did that alright let's check if there's anything on this computer and then we'll end it end up this end up end this game once and for all and then move on to the second one Let's see. Nope. Looks like pretty much the same message as before. Just that one about subject, um... Um, subject 16 was the new one. And something about, uh... Some news about Africa being diseased and most of the population dying, which is... The percentage of people that died in that email that they said is just insane. 92%? How is that even possible? And I'm pretty sure they're just trying to, like, let make you assume that that was done by Abstergo so they could just take it over. I don't know. It just, it just makes sense in my mind. That's why they would make a story like that. All right, well, um... Now that we've checked those final emails after the credits, which I know I just said goodbye in the credits, but now that we've literally done everything involving those last two emails left behind at the end of the game, explaining some of these, um, 
markings left to us by who we know as Subject 16 right now. I mean, I know who he is, but I'm going to stick with not spoiling the name right now. So, yeah, now we know why these markings are here and gives a little bit of explanation of who left them. Subject 16, the person right before Desmond, who is Subject 17. All right, well, now that we have checked that out, now, I just want to make a quick thank you to you guys for watching this walkthrough. If you did, maybe you just had a little bit of nostalgia and you wanted to revisit this old game and just watch a walkthrough instead of playing it yourself because maybe you sold it or you just want to, like, listen to someone playing this while you're maybe playing, like, a um, like a game that just came out for Assassin's Creed. So instead of playing the old ones, you're just trying to catch up and get reminded of the story. Well, I just want to say a quick thank you for watching and taking the time to check out the content I came to provide for you. Uh, I just really enjoy making videos, and I thought, why not, with one of my favorite series, Assassin's Creed. So, again, thank you, you guys, and be sure to check in the future for some more videos. I know I'm going to be continuing Assassin's Creed and maybe even making some more videos for some different games. Alright, well, I'm just going to end it here, and thanks for watching, and you guys have a great day.